Let me ask you another trippy out there question now. So uh, again, uh, perhaps unanswerable from a physics perspective, but do you wonder about um, alien civilizations? Do you wonder about other intelligent beings out there making up their own math and physics, trying to figure out the world? Do you think they're they're out there? It is hard to understand why there would, given that there's so many planets, and of course there's Drake's formula, and we don't exactly know what the, but I mean, I think Fermi's paradox that, you know, is a real paradox, and I I think there, there probably are, and uh, I think it's very exciting that, uh, you know, we might, you know, find some, it's it's a logical possibility that we could learn about it. I mean, to me, it's super interesting to think about aliens from a perspective of physics, because so any intelligent civilization is going to be contending with the ideas, uh, just trying to understand the world around it. So I think that the alien, I think that the universe is filled with alien civilizations. So they all have their physicists, right? They all have their, they're all trying to understand the world around them. And it's just interesting to me to imagine all these different perspectives, all these different Einsteins. Yeah. Like trying to make sense of like- Though they might be more different than we think. What, they why? might be different in a way that we haven't even thought of. Like smarter or different? Just just different, something that we don't even, we're not even able to describe now. We yeah, just haven't thought of it, you know? May yeah, yeah this, this is a really frustrating thing when we think, from uh, me as an AI person, you start to think about what is intelligence, what is consciousness, and, and you start to sometimes, again, uh, night, evening thoughts is um, how little we understand, how narrow our thinking is about these concepts. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that that it could be intelligence, could be something, could be intelligent and be very different, intelligent in a very different way that we won't be able to detect because we're not keeping an open mind, open enough mind. And that's kind of sad because to me, there's also just a strong possibility that aliens or something like alien intelligence or some fascinating, beautiful physical phenomena are all around us and we're mm. too dumb to see it for now. or too mm. close-minded to see it. There's something we're just deeply missing. Whether it's uh, like fundamental limitations of our cognitive abilities, or just because our tools are uh, per too primitive right now, uh, or like the way we—it's like you said, like uh, the ideas seem trivial once you figure it all out. Looking back, yeah, but that kind of makes me sad because there could be so much beauty in the world we're not seeing because <laughs> well, we're too dumb. <laughs> There surely is. And that's, I guess, the process of science and physics is to keep exploring, yeah. to keep, keep exploring, to find the thing that will, uh, in a century, seem obvious. Well, uh, something we know for sure, I mean, the brain we don't really understand, and that's got to be some fabulously beautiful story that... Uh, I'm hoping some of that story will be written through the process of trying to build a brain. So the process of engineering intelligence, not just the neuroscience perspective of just looking at the brain, but trying to create it. Uh, but yeah, that story hasn't been uh, written almost at all, or just the early days of figuring that one out. But see, like you said that math is discovered. So um, aliens should at least have the same math as us, right? I think so. Maybe different symbols? Oh, well, they might have discovered different, they might have discovered it differently, and they might have had a different idea of what a proof is. <laughs> sure, <laughs> yeah, we're very, uh, we're very like black and white with the proof thing. Yeah. Maybe they're looser. <laughs> right, yeah. well, so you can, you can know something is true to, first of all, you never know something is true with 100% uncertainty. I mean, you might have had a blackout at some, just to be, it's never 100%, right? You you might have had a momentary lapse of consciousness as a key step in the proof and nobody read it and yeah. whatever. Okay, so you never know for sure. 
but you can be have a preponderance of evidence, which makes it. And preponderance of evidence is not accepted very much in mathematics, and and that was sort of how you know the famous Ramanujan work. He, he worked. He had formulas which he guessed at, and then he gathered a preponderance of evidence that <laughs> that he was sure they were true. And yeah. so there might be, or something completely different. You know, they might function in a different, in a very different way.